Now our next lot is the rather splendid Victorian tablecloth, which, true to her word, Aggie boiled and cleaned with a biological washing powder. As you might expect, it looks as good as new. Possibly too good, in fact. So next up is the very, very clean tablecloth. Yes, yes. Uh, the one you don't really want to give away. That's right. So what I've done is I've put a reserve on it. Yeah, I don't want it going for the fry, I've put £25 pound reserve on it. So fingers crossed. Well, Jonty, you said 30 to £50. Pounds. Yes. So. You've done really well so far today, Jonty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I know I'm very trying. You are very trying. You know, it's that lot out there I'm fed up with. Yes. Stare at them harder. No, no don't. That's probably the problem. <laughs> <laughs> You're making them nervous. Where should we go with this? Start me, maybe ten pounds to start get things going. Ten pounds for the, for the tablecloth for ten pounds. Anybody? I'm bid ten pounds, twelve pounds now. Fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. No, not quite enough. At eighteen pounds, at eighteen pounds for the tablecloth. At eighteen pounds. Anybody else? At eighteen pounds. With me at eighteen pounds. At eighteen. All done for eighteen pounds. Eighteen pounds and going. Not sold, I'm afraid. Do you know what I'm pleased about that? Are you? Yeah. I bet you put it back in the cupboard and you'll never use it again. you're right. It'll get yellow again. Yeah, exactly. I know. I know. You just want it to get yellow again so you can get the stain out. <laughs> well, Aggie's clearly relieved that the tablecloth wasn't sold for just £18, but that lack of a sale doesn't help our target, which is currently stalled at just £137. Maybe there'll be some Clary's Cliff fans in the room, because although it's not the genuine piece, like the one that so nearly made it to auction, there's a definite similarity with our Arcadian bowl. Jonty valued it at 50 to 60 pounds when we found it at Aggie's house, but judging by the results so far today, I think that may have been somewhat optimistic. Well, next up is the uh, Clary's Cliff, of course. Oh, no, you didn't bring it. I'm it's glad I did. It's the in Clary's Cliff style. <laughs> no, it wouldn't have. <laughs> um, what are we hoping for this? Well, if it had been Clary's Cliff, well, we could be looking at three to £400. <laughs> But this is not. So the bowl is 50 to 60 pounds. Start me 10 pounds for the bowl. Ch a charity lot again for 10 pounds, surely. I'm being there. 10 pounds. Oh, really? 10. 10 pounds. 12, thank you, Jane. 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. 22 pounds there at 22. Anybody else? 22 pounds in the middle there at 22. With you, sir, at 22. At 22 pounds, doesn't seem much. At 22 pounds, I'm going to sell it. 22. Thank you, 22. The buyers just aren't here. No, they're not. Not today. He apparently come yeah, for the Clary's bowl, but unfortunately... Uh... I think I'll keep quiet from now on. I do feel for Aggie, though. When the bidders aren't in a spending mood, there really isn't anything we can do. We have just one lot to go, so let's hope we can at least finish the auction on a high. Vintage champers, anyone? Next up is the Krug, and you've put a reserve on it. I have, because I was in a restaurant last week, and that very same bottle was on the menu for £500. You know, so I can't let it go for less than 50 But well, between you and me, I'm hoping that it doesn't go at all, so we can just crack it open. <laughs> a glass of warm champagne. Hey, why not? <laughs> Must be worth start me £40 to go to start me for the, for the bottle of Krug for £40. Cost an awful lot more than this in the shop. And nobody wanted for £40. 40 I'm bid. Thanks. It's got 40. 45 I'm bid now. Do you want 50, sir? £50 there at 50. In the, in the room further away at £50, still a cheap bottle of Krug at £50. £50 is all I bid in the middle at £55, thank you. Not 60, sir. £60. £65, thank you. £70. Here we go. £70 further away at £70. Anybody else at £70? For the bottle of Krug, I'm going to sell it for £70. Still cheap at £70. It's a good charity lot selling at £70. <laughs> 70 quid, that's not bad at all. I'm happy with that. Good. I'm happy well, show with it that. in your face then. <laughs> I'm ecstatic. Yes, that's what we want to see. <laughs> at last, a notable sale price for one of Aggie's lots, although it still falls short of Jonty's estimate. But at least at the end of the day, we're finally all smiling. I'm crossing my fingers and toes that this all adds up to a total that meets with Aggie's approval. Well, I can tell you that your day at the auction is over. No, it doesn't flop at all, actually. Um, a lot of lots that you've brought here, um, you've actually raised £229, which isn't bad, because when you remember, you've taken £200 out of the equation. Yes, the lovely Clarice Cliff. Oh, 
which you're okay. going to donate. Yes, I am. So actually, you wanted 500, you actually made 429. Yeah, that's okay. A that's lot of money for that's Hackney okay. Orchestra. Actually, yes, no, that's, no. that's true. Um, um, that's okay. Could have been worse. Could, could have been even worse. And you've got your tablecloth back. I know, actually, that's what I'm happy about. <laughs> I'm slightly gutted that the Krug sold. Um, that to make do with a glass of water. It's been lovely meeting you. And you. And, uh, oh, and you too, Fred, as well. Yeah, well I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> and uh, good luck with everything. After that somewhat turbulent day at auction, Aggie is heading to North London, to the home of the Hackney Youth Orchestra, to enjoy a performance of some of her charity's rising stars. What I love about this organisation is that it's so inclusive. All sorts of kids from all sorts of different backgrounds and creeds, and everyone is here to enjoy the music. That's the sort of common theme. It's really fun and we get to meet people, we get to talk to people and it's just somewhere where we can hear music and enjoy music. And it's just a big load of fun. After such high emotion at auction, hopefully this day out will be a rather less stressful experience for our Queen of Clean. I love the fact that it's a really small charity and for a small charity any input makes a huge difference and I know that I can make quite a big bit of difference to the charity. Kids come because they really want to learn the music, it's just fantastic. Well, considering Aggie withdrew her best item on the morning of the auction, I didn't think she did too badly. She was after £500 and she was slightly under budget. The main thing is that her charity will benefit. Now then, if you want to raise money for something special and you think you've got the treasures hidden around your home, why not apply to be on the programme? All the details are at bbc.co.uk. Good luck, and we'll see you next time on Cash in the Attic. Nine sporting world champions. Should be a good match for Anne. It's game on on the weakest link on BBC One now. We're heading west on Escape to the Country next here on BBC Two, followed by another set of challenges for the Eggheads at six.